Valentine's Day is coming! Oh, I love Hate Valentine's Day! <laughs> I think that's it. <laughs> I love Hate Valentine's Day! Right. True story, true story! Oh. So, I love Valentine's Day. I hate all the expectations and the stereotyping that's shoved onto Valentine's Day. That's my love hate with it. Like, people expect me to expect things. I think that really annoys oh. me. They expect me to expect things. And I was like, dude, that's not even, you're so off base, it's not even funny. Very beginning of our marriage, I told my husband, don't ever buy me roses on Valentine's Day. Do not spend 50 bucks on roses for Valentine's Day. Buy them for me three times during the year on different random days. Not during Valentine's Day when they're so expensive, that's crazy. Like and subscribe so you can see all the crazy things that we do. So we went to the Dollar Tree. Yes, so it's a Dollar Tree video, people. If you have not been to the Dollar Tree with us, we have several options to follow along because it's a great place. Right, like the Dollar people. Right, it's, it's a real one. It is, and they always have new fun things there, and even like bring back old things. So you're like, okay, I'm gonna go because I wanted to do this. I didn't do it last year. They're gonna have it, and they're gonna have something new. It doesn't break your bank whether you have six children or three children. Like you could afford to go to the Dollar Tree to get something thoughtful. Yes. Right? 50 bucks for roses. That's a lot of trips to the Dollar Tree that you could do all year long for me, honey. <laughs> so true. So, yeah, as we're talking about Valentine's Day, this is not just your spouse or your, you know, significant other. We're talking about our children and showing love for them and being and even like I know a lot of people still do the class Valentine's and this year might be a little different for that, but we have some fun ideas that are hopefully simple and not going to break your bank and to keep you being thoughtful and maybe even starting at February 1st, which is coming up really soon. So that way you can go ahead and be thinking about this for more than just a one day event. <laughs> right. So, and even this can trickle over into friends and things like that. We just did a friendship video and talking about, do check that out. And talked about like how to be thoughtful for each other and to do those things. And so some of these things that can trickle on and do something else. Like you don't have to have somebody you're tied to or you, given birth to, or something like that, to show love and appreciation. Those or are the only people I love. <sighs> Isn't that true? <laughs> Whatever. <is> questionable. <laughs> I was like, you have lots of friends. Oh, so, teasing. But, so the first thing, like, see my crazy big hearts? Yay, all the hearts. These are awesome foam ones. They're so great. So and what are you doing with them? So they come in like a pack of 12, so I can't do all 14 days. But, so I'm, I'm sharpening on them, little messages to my spouse, and he'll get surprises for the next, you know, for those 14 days. So, yay! just thoughtful things of even silly things, you know, like the be minds or the I love yous, but mm -hmm. even getting more cute and personal with it because it'll just be in our room. It won't have to be something public that the kids want to be around. <laughs> so, but it's fun to be like, well, how can I leave you a sweet message that would get your attention, let you know I'm thinking about you. So right. I thought that was a really great one and they're big and in his face. And <laughs> he's gonna be like, I just saw your video. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> so true. Sorry, you're, we're gonna ruin. I, Surprise! I'm a few surprises. What I like about these ones is because of their like on their foam hearts, but um, they're weather resistant. Like you can heart attack your friend's car, your husband's car, so somebody's true. front door. Like it doesn't have to be an inside thing because of these. Like if you've got a friend and you want to go put hearts on their car, boom, there you go. Yeah, nice and easy. I mean, they even have little guys. These are little felt ones, so maybe they'd get wet, but they do have a little bit of a sticky on the back. So you Don't put it on the car. So on the car windshield. <laughs> there you go. So. Or on a poster board that you put on their front door or something like that, or a bathroom mirror for your children. Like there's definitely tons of options. So I picked up, show what we picked up for the kids. So these are little doily ones. I know, I found white ones. <laughs> yep. So they had pink ones too. Oh, so, right, but right. there's like 30 of them. Yes. So, so it's like, lots. okay, if I did one per child per day, so mm -hmm. I did some math and grabbed a lot. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> but like, write a little message. It doesn't have to be anything big. You could do a little extra. <laughs> I love you an extra lot. And I'm really like, stick it. Stick a gum on this one, you know. Like I got a couple of little things to add to it. That was just from the Dollar Tree. The pack comes with like four of them. So like I, for a dollar that gives all my kids and I have an extra one, maybe for my husband or me, I get gum that day. So it doesn't have to be that. No, just being thoughtful. And really the funniest thing that the first way I we talked about doing this is for the kids. And the first thing we started with was the idea of sticky notes. And there's like a four, a four pack, or no, yeah. it's 
yeah, it was a four pack. And they were just little, the rectangle sticky notes. I was like, hey, four of these different colors for one dollar. I mean, that's the cheapest thing you can do right there. I, when I was at Different Dollar Tree, they did not have the fun shapes. <laughs> so check out Different Dollar Trees because you right. never know the selection. But um, how easy just to write a cute little note and stick it to their door or by their bed or wherever they'll see right. it in the morning to know that you love them and thought of them. And I'm just like, about. stop watching this video, children. <laughs> I don't know, maybe this is what we tell the kids, don't, you don't get to watch this one. Not yet. <laughs> so, but like something as simple as that, that you can, in this, you can leave all year round. And you I know? think that's a good thing. Like seeing the stack of sticky notes being like, okay, well I need 14 days. No, you can do something thoughtful anytime you think of it. Right. And it, it's a sticky note. It's not going to ruin anything, which is also really nice. So. Right. I know. I'm like, I was just thinking, I keep this in my purse and then I'm out and about and I'm like, oh, I want to like whatever, like random thoughts up on my head, like I can write it down and then just be like, I'm going to go stick that on my daughter's bed because I thought of her today. Was at the store, saw a fireman, thought of you. <laughs> <laughs> I have a daughter a little bit obsessed with fireman. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. I oh, know. So, but just simple things like that. I think that's the habit I want to be into is like sending out more positive words and let them know that I'm thinking of them throughout like my busy, crazy day. Right, and so at the Dollar Tree they have all the greetings cards, mm -hmm. simple way to reach out to family and friends. Right, that you're two for a dollar. Of. So easy, such a sweet thing. Really, like this is the tiniest selection of Dollar Tree oh my things. Gosh. Like we went with the purpose of being thoughtful, like and writing notes, and so that's kind of what we ended up with. Oh my, the so millions of things that are there. Check it things. out and you can just, I wouldn't wait too long. No. Nope. Their supplies start dwindling the closer you get to the holiday. Um, a cute little stuffed animals if you got small children that you can just leave a little dollar stuffed animal on their bed one day like when I was growing up that's what I remember the most my mom would like go in and like straighten up our room and make our bed and then like I'd get a little baggie with a little bit of candy in it and a little card that said like I love you and thought of you today or whatever we had 10 kids growing up so that was a big deal like uh, that was the only time I remember my mom making my bed is Valentine's Day yeah that's not normal in my life <laughs> no, but I was like but I knew that she thought of me that day and she worked and she had 10 kids and tons of things going on and so like that was just something special for me and I was like you know how do I do that and I've been blessed to like stay in the home and not have to be out of the home at a nine to five job or whatever so how do I do that and then amplify it a little bit more so that it makes sense with my situation and really it's it's helping us to continue to create a better environment keeping our brain focused on others and being thoughtful and kind and those are things that are hard for some of us and so this is a good motivation to help think a little bit more and reach out and show that love because we all need a little bit of lifting up, especially these days. It's not easy out there. People have a lot of conflicts and we don't always agree, but we do love each other and life is about being together and building good relationships and what an easy way to do it and not having to spend a lot of money, but doing something thoughtful and go ahead and share your ideas with us that maybe you found at the Dollar Tree or Target Dollar Spot or wherever you found your awesome little treats because you thought of somebody and wanted to do something nice. <clears throat> so don't set your expectations too high for Valentine's Day. Let's go back to expectations. Don't set your expectations too high for Valentine's Day. Just expect yourself to do a little bit better this year at being thoughtful than you were last year and just let it build upon itself that way. Yeah, because it's really more about giving than getting anyways. <laughs> All right, so don't forget to check us out and leave positive comments. We love to know what you want us to do and share with you, and we can't wait to see you guys next time.